God is in the fires with us, baby. That's my testimony. And last night I was having a discussion with my husband and he said, Nick, I want you to tell me everything that's on your mind. Don't keep stuff in. Tell me. I said, honey, to be honest with you, after working with you today, I have nothing to argue about, nothing to say to you. You've like earned my respect, the way you go so hard for my, for us and the kids. So I said, I'm sticking with my brother's Kevin's advice. He said, Nikki, you have a husband who takes good care of you and your family. He respects you and there's nothing more you can ask of him. So I said, honey, I'm going with Kevin's advice. I have nothing to say to you other than good things and positive things to say thank you for everything you're doing to, for our family. But trust me guys, I have plenty, 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 plenty to say, but your girl kept quiet. So this morning, I usually read a Jesus Calling devotional with him for our appointment with God together. But I said, you know, today I'm going to read from my book. Keep calm, we're rolling with God. And I just used like the scroll key to say, God, what do you have to say to me and my hubby today? And can you believe God got in on that actual discussion? Is that I love this reminder of my appointment with God. That was enough to bring me back to my calm center where I rest in God and trust Him, leaving all my burdens, knowing I face nothing alone, and that we do not go by the ordinary rules. Hear that, guys? We're going by the supernatural rules that our God is in control of everything and everyone. And He's at work in the spiritual realm on our behalf. But I said, isn't an easy thing? Case in point, you didn't tell me you love me. My hubby said to me about 1 a.m. We had just talked on the phone about 20 minutes before this. He was in Nigeria, I was in the U.S., but he was calling back again, sensing something was wrong. To be honest, I was upset with him about something, but in that moment, I wanted to give him a piece of my mind. I paused and I went to God. The feelings were to calm down and be my most loving self instead of losing it and saying something I might regret later. I still haven't told him I was upset with him, but in thinking about it, I believe the experience with my hubby was a lesson from God to me, to trust him. Not every battle is for us to fight. I feel I have the best hubby in the world, and in our years of marriage, he has earned my love and respect, so much so that I can overlook a fault every now and again. Nobody's perfect. I see him doing his best at being a husband, father, and person, and I'm a super proud wife. So going to God in that moment was the best solution. I'm happy that I did. I'm learning not to discuss things with anyone when I'm upset, but to wait until I'm calm and can discuss things sensibly, like at this, this time, or not at all, guys. So that's the wisdom I'm learning from God, to just take some stuff and keep silent, guys. Not everything deserves a response. Some things you just have to pretend you don't think. Some things you pretend you don't hear. And you've got to leave the battles with God, man. You know, for peace to reign, just keep going to God. Get in His wisdom for your life. And I promise you guys, that's the way that He leads us and guides us on the battle. No matter the trouble and tribulation that come, God day, like they say in Nigeria. And He will direct you. You begin to feel Him. And that moment on that call with my husband, I remember that. He just said, Nick, shh, 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 be quiet. Be your most loving self. This husband deserves your love and respect. Overwhelm him. So that's why I want you guys, every moment, just pausing, asking God, what do you have for me to stay here or not stay? What do you have me to go or not go? And just following God little by little, step by step, as he fight for us in the spiritual realm. Just be at peace. And just know our God is with us, he's for us, he's on our side. What is too hard for him?